I love the support on this new channel, guys. Thank you so much. Together with you, we have nearly, like, nearly 100,000 subscribers. <laughs> now we're a bit far off, but I mean... We're getting there. We're getting there. Subscribe now. Let's get this channel to 100,000 subscribers. What are we doing? Think of your favorite car show. There's only one favorite car show. Yeah? Yeah. Which is? Carwow. Uh, I f love Matt Watson from Carwow. Think of TV. Oh, TV. Yeah, that was always the old style Top Gear. So you're going to be happy? Are we doing Top Gear? Top Gear's most offensive moments. I love it! I love it! Top Gear's most offensive moments. Let's go! So what news have you got then, James, this well, week? Actually, I've got some news. His hair is always the exact same length his entire life. Some news from Korea. You, you can't tell, can you, that Top Gear's just been sold in Korea? No, no. <laughs> well, look, I don't think there's any evidence. I think we're smoothing this one out nicely. It's not showing. Hello, you industrious little fellows. <laughs> That's got him on side. Well yeah. done. Well, it's not like we've ever upset anyone. I know. Holy f did you see how Richard Hammond looked like? He looks like he came straight out of a boy band. He looks like he just walked out of Westlife or Boyzone or Backstreet Boys. Like genuinely, look at him. Well, there was the vicar whose tree I rammed in the Toyota pickup truck. Yeah, and everyone in Wales and everyone in Birmingham and everyone in America. Yep. Uh, now, it's unlikely to be here because uh, everyone does five. It's not going to be here because everyone's on drugs. <laughs> Fact. Yeah, but it's true, right? Because that's where cocaine comes from. That's where Jeremy fragrance always goes to, right? Fuck! Oh! That's all just full of ox. Uh, Al Gore says that's gone, so it's not gonna be down there. That's full of spiders. So this is one of the reasons I would never want to go to Australia. Because of these huge ass Spiders. There's a huge ass tarantula. I'm not going there. A, a what? <laughs> a what? <laughs> a what? A tarantula. Mate, if the f things are this big, and when you want to take a sh they're hiding underneath your toilet seat. How could people live in that country? They're all communists. Can't yep. go there because the Americans will shoot you. No. Yes. no what? Thank you. All right. Oh. Sadly, though, this was also too much for the U.S. government. I just wanted to make sure that uh, you guys are doing the documentary. Oh, it is a documentary. It's not a like a fooling around show. No, it's a serious show. No, I was arrested in America once. I'm not even joking. <laughs> Uh, in Sioux Falls. Have you ever been to Sioux Falls? No. In South Dakota. I rented this Mustang because I always wanted to rent a Mustang when I was in America. The only thing is this Mustang was like a four-cylinder thing and I never knew that they came in four-cylinders. I thought, I'm gonna rent a Mustang. That's gonna be a real American V8. I got a wee f four-cylinder piece of sh but that's different. Driving from Minneapolis to Sioux Falls and I was so dumb with it. I went over like 40 miles an hour. Please stop me. I was like, I'm f here in America, mate. They're gonna throw me in jail, they're gonna kill me. But you know what? Nicest police officer I've ever met in my life. Yeah, that was my story. He let me off. Shut up, you goddamn Frenchy cheese-eating surrender monkey. Yep. So if you're watching this in Saudi Arabia... <laughs> <laughs> Time to break out your camel. Have you ever seen camel races? Mate, it's brilliant. To save on weight, Jockeys have been replaced by robots. I genuinely want to do a camel race. The camel trainers drive alongside. They scream instructions to their camels through a speaker on the robot. I want to do a camel race myself. It's mad. When an extra burst of speed is needed, each robot carries a whip, which the trainer operates by remote control. I want to do a camel race. Give me a good suggestion. Which YouTuber? I need to do a collaboration where we do a camel race. Because I own a motorbike after that, Jeremy. Oh, did you? Yeah, a motor because he... Who is he? I remember him. He's like a singer or something from like... Uh, Maroon Blunt? 5, no? Is it James Blunt? Oh, that could be. That could be. Could be James Blunt. I didn't know you were homosexual. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Most of my songs are about you. He is a singer. <laughs> Could be James Blunt, I have no idea who he is, but like I know his face from somewhere. Can I just say him? what? You look like a gay cowboy and you look like a gay terrorist. No, okay. you look like a terrorist with a broken windscreen wiper and your face is ridiculous. We should do a, <laughs> do a car that's quintessentially German. Well, just replace the spoons with little sausages. No, no, no. <laughs> Give it trafficators that go like that. <laughs> <laughs> A sat nav that only goes to Poland. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm fine. 
Why do the fan belts have been lost for a thousand years? <laughs> nein, 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 nein. Why Sorry. would you want a Mexican car? Because cars reflect national characteristics, don't they? So German cars are sort of very well built and ruthlessly yeah. efficient. Italian cars are a bit flamboyant and quick. Mexican cars just going to be a lazy, feckless, flatulent <laughs> open. <laughs> Leaning against looking like a burrito. Fact. Leaning against a fence asleep, looking at a cactus with a blanket with a hole in the middle on as a coat. <laughs> He's missing the hat. The sombrero? The sombrero. He's missing the sombrero. <laughs> it's, it's, it's interesting because they, they can't do food, the Mexicans, can they? Because it's all like sick with cheese on it. I mean, <laughs> refried sick. I just had Mexican food. I'm not even joking. I just had Mexican food and I f love Mexican food. You can't beat it. And yes, it was with cheese. Because this is a hard job. And I'm not just saying this to win favor with lorry drivers. It's a hard job. Change gear, change gear, change gear. Check your mirrors. Murder a prostitute. Change gear, change gear, murder. Check your mirrors. <laughs> Oh, I love that guy. If you're thinking of coming to America, this is what it's like. You've got your comfort in, you've got your best Western, you've got your red lobster where you eat. Everybody's very fat, everybody's very stupid, and everybody's very rude. This really looks like South Dakota, to be honest. This looks like Sioux Falls, I'm not even joking. And what he's saying is, oh, f I need to watch out with what I'm saying, because I, I have a lot of American people watching me. The most people watching that watch, watch me are coming from America. We like America. God bless America. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Windy squeals, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Where's the N-word then? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I just wanted to say something, but I will go to prison. Tallest race on earth now, the Dutch. Officially. Mind you, they do take a lot of drugs. That's why they like Top Gear so much. I love Top Gear indeed. And I don't do drugs. The Dutch are the tallest race in, 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 on earth. I was the only one that was skipped, but that's a different story. You know what? In proportion, I have a big cock. Well, I'm just saying that you know immediately that that car is German because it's got too much power. They've overdone it, as usual, like they did on their French holiday in 1939. James! <laughs> I love that guy. Oh, James May, what a man. They've nicked our airports, they've nicked all our fish, they've nicked all our building societies, they eat the heads off prawns, they throw donkeys off tower blocks, and they stab cows. <laughs> so that's Spanish. That is the Spanish. <laughs> Hola, señor. ¿Cómo estás? Dos cervezas, por favor. Aquí, aquí. Cenicero, por favor. I changed from first to third on my pre-selection gearbox, which means technically I short shifted. <laughs> hey, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> when I say short, I don't mean that. You, I'm not being rude. You, you keep sorry. saying short. No, 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 I meant I short shifted. I didn't. No. Mean, I wasn't being clever. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Honestly, <laughs> things I'd rather do than drive one of those include presenting next week's show while gently cupping James's scrotum. <laughs> and we're we're off the air. Scrotum is your arsehole, right? Or is that your balls? <laughs> it's your ball sack. Oh, it's your ball sack. All right, no worries. I just, I just wanted to check that. In Korea. Yeah, goodbye, industrious little oh. fellows. Um, oh, give me a minute. I'm going to have trouble shifting that vision now. That's I loved the old style top gear, you know? I know they do this They do this thing on Amazon Grand or Grand Tour, but it is different. Like, it feels different. I like it, but it feels different. For me, the old style top gear is British television history. Please make sure when you finish this video that you subscribe to the channel now. I'm gonna PayPal 10 pounds sterling to someone that puts a comment on the video right now.